Hi everybody, today I will show you Elementor header and footer builder plugin tutorial. So let's begin. Alright, so to use the Elementor and footer builder in Elementor, first thing that we need to do is to go inside the plugins and click on add new plugin. And here we have to install Elementor header and footer builder. So let's click on install now. Now let's click on activate. Alright. So after this, we have to make sure two things. The first thing is that we have to go inside the themes and we have to see that we are using the Astro theme. Okay, so I'm using the Astro theme, but if you are not using the Astro theme, you need to download and use the Astro theme. And after that, the second thing is the menus. So let's click on the menus. So we have to make sure that we have the menus here. So as you can see here, I actually have four different menus. Okay. So my main menu is basically the primary menu. So that is what we are going to use. All right. So after this, what we need to do, we have to go inside the element header and footer builder. So now from here, we will need to create the header or the footer depends on what we want to create. So for now, I only want to create the header. So what I will basically do, I'll just basically click on add new here. And here, this will be the header. And here, what I need to do, I have to select the template. So that will be the header. So if I wanted to select the footer, I would just simply click on the footer here. But right now, as we know that we want to go with the header here. So I'll just simply click on the header. Perfect. And then we have the other options here. So we have the display on and the user role. So I can select the display option. So in the display on option, we have the different values here. So I wanted to have my header on the entire website so that is why i would just simply click on entire website but if you want to go specific then you can change the value accordingly okay and the last thing is the user roles so if you only want to make it for login users or the logged out users or the other type of the users you can simply select that but i'm going to go here with the all users all right and in the last, we have the option to enable layout for Elementor Canvas template. So if you want to check this, you can also do this. So right now, let's just click on publish. All right. So now what we need to do, we have to click on edit with Elementor. All right. So as you can see here, we are inside the Elementor editor. So I will simply pick here the container. So let's click on add container. Go for the flex box. And we'll go here with three column structure. All right. So in the first one, I would actually go here with the logo. So let me just close all of these options from here. All right. So now you'll be able to see the option of Elementor header and footer builder. So from here, first thing that I would need to do here, I'll just simply drag and drop site logo. All right. So we can go here with the site logo. So if I wanted to go here with the custom image, I can simply enable this option. And from here, I will select the image. So I'll go here with this logo. Okay. So let's click on this image, click on select. And after this, I can change the size of our logo here. Okay. Now, one thing that I need to do here, I actually have to change the background color of the container. All right. So let's go back into the style and here I would select the background. Now let's select the color here. So I would basically go here with maybe the green color. Or we can go here with the dark blue color. I think that would look fine. All right. So this is looking fine. All right. So now what I need to do, I actually have to add the navigation menu. Okay. So for the navigation menu, we also have the option in our Elementor header and footer builder. So let's just drag this and put this here. And from here, you can see this. We are having the multiple different options of the menus that I have shown you earlier. So I'm going to go here with the main menu. And here I'm going to go into the layout. So in the layout, I would like to put this into the center. All right. And I would also like to change the text color of it. So I would go here with the white color. All right. So you can see the text color here. So I'll just simply change the text color here. So that will be white. And if I wanted to add the hover color, I can also change it from here. So let's click on the hover color. So for the hover color, we can go here with kind of a grayish color maybe. All right. So that will look fine. Yes. And after this, what we need to do, we just have to add the social icons. Okay. So for the social icons, I'll just simply click here and write down social icons here. 
and now let's drag this and put this here all right so you can see here we are having the three different social icons so we have the facebook twitter and the youtube so i'm going to add the instagram too as well all right so let's change the icon here for the instagram click on insert perfect all right and i have to change the shape of it so that will be circle and now i have to go inside the style so inside the style i would go here with the custom colors so let's go here with the custom colors so i would go here with the primary color so that will be the white color and for the secondary color we will be using the same background color here so i have to copy that color so let's click on main container copy this color from here and now i have to go back to our social icons and i have to paste that color into my secondary color now this is looking perfect and now i would like to change the size of it okay so i think this is looking fine 20 px and one thing that i need to do i would simply click on our main container and go into the layout and i would like to align my content into the center now this is looking good right and if i wanted to change the size of my logo i can simply do this from here so i can change the width of it so i think i would go here with maybe 50 percent and we also have the max width and we have the background color and you can also see the other options here as well all right so now let's click on update and now we simply go back to our wordpress dashboard all right so we have created our custom header so now if i just click on our visit site you will be able to see our custom header here all right so you can see here we have our custom header so we have our custom logo and then we have our menu options and the social icons all right so we have learned to build the header with the help of our elementor and footer builder okay so now we're gonna go back and similarly we will create the footer okay so for that i'll just simply have to click on add new here and here on the type of the template i have to select the footer and i have to give a name here so that will be footer all right so i have to select the display on that will be entire website and i think we are good to go here so let's click on publish all right so now i'm going to click on edit with elementor All right, so as you can see here, we are inside the Elementor editor. So now we have to build our footer here really quickly. So first we'll simply add our container. Let's click on Flexbox. And here I'm gonna add, let's say what we can add here. So we can add here maybe the four column structure. All right, so first I have to give it the background color that we have used on the header. So let's go inside this style. And we have to go inside the classic, click on the color. And now you will be able to see our background color that we have used on our header. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do here, I would basically add the logo. So let's just write down logo here. That will be the side logo. So let's just drag this and put this here. And I would actually use the custom image. So let's click on choose image. And we have to choose this image from here. Select this. Okay, so now one thing that I need to do here, I just simply click on our main container and go into the layout. And I will align the items into the center. Okay, and after the logo, what we can have here is that I think I can have the menu maybe. So let's go back and write down nav here, navigation menu. So let's drag this and put this here. And we can have our main menu here, or we can also have any other menu. So let's just go here with the menu. All right. And let's just click on the layout. So this would be vertical. Perfect. And now what I can do here, I would put this into the center maybe. Yeah, this is looking okay. And I think I would need to change the menu here. So let's go here with the main menu. This is looking okay. So I would basically like to change x color that would be white and this is looking good and then what we can do here okay so i think i will need to put my logo at the top so let's click back on our main container and here i have to put this into the start all right so now this is looking good okay 
and after this what i would like to add i think i can add the google map here or something like this okay so i'll just simply drag this and put this here and here we're gonna have a kind of a location here all right okay so this is looking good but i think i would go back to the alignment to the center again so let's click on edit container go back to the center now this is looking better and in the last i can add anything if i wanted to or i can also skip up the things as well so i'll just basically remove this from here the last container all right and now i would basically give a space to my map container now this is looking better so i think i can increase the width of it okay so i need to do one thing here i need to change the content where to the full width all right so now this is looking good so now let's click on update this now let's just go back to our website refresh the page and now if i just scroll down you will be able to see our custom footer here that we have created now so this is how we can create our custom header and the footer with the help of elementor header and footer builder so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel